Is your Windows 11 feeling sluggish or are you getting random stutters in the middle of a gunfight? Out of the box, Windows 11 is designed for productivity and security but not for gaming. But today, we are gonna change that. I have rounded up 10 essential steps from hidden hardware settings to deep system tweaks. Let's turn your PC into a high performance gaming machine. So with all that said, let's dive into the video. Alright, step number one is the essential Windows settings and for that you have to head over to settings onto your PC and over here head over to personalization. Then click on colors and then you have to disable transparency effects. This is a very important step because these are just unwanted animations and you keep them off to save your useful system resources. Then head over to gaming, head over to game bar and turn this one off. Since it is an overlay service, affects your FPS in the background. So just turn it off. Head back to gaming, head over to game mode and this one you're gonna have to turn it on. It will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background, helping you to focus your system resources on your games. After that, you'll find graphic settings, click on that. And then it's very important for you to enable optimizations for Windows games and then advanced graphic settings and which you'll find the most important option that is HAGS or Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. Both of these options will help you reduce unwanted input latency and utilize your primary graphics card to render the game. Once done with this, you have to search for memory integrity and select core isolation. Here you have to disable memory integrity, select yes. Turning off memory integrity can help you boost your FPS up to 25% on some system. But just a heads up, this is a security feature. So only disable this if your PC is strictly for gaming. Next step is disabling unwanted startup applications. You wanna keep your PC optimal by reducing the number of startup applications. Press Control, Shift and Escape all together on your keyboard and then you will be prompted to Task Manager. Here, go over to the fourth tab which says Startup Apps and you'll find all of the applications installed on your PC. All you have to do is select the applications that you do not use. These applications could be Browser Assistant, Adobe Cloud, ChatGPT, Epic Games Launcher, anything that you do not use right after the boot of your PC. When I have to right click on them and select disable as many applications as you can. For example, I use Steam to load up my wallpaper engine. I use Riot Client Service because it's important for Valorant. I use Rain Meter because it loads up the essential desktop widgets. Apart from that, I have kept everything over here to disable. This will not only help you to reduce the number of applications running in the background right after you boot your PC, but it will also help you to reduce the last BIOS time, which is essentially the time taken by your PC to boost up. Your UI will feel snappier and your PC will thank you for this. Before moving ahead, I want to introduce you guys to Hone.gg which is a simple one-click tool to optimize your PC's performance at one place. Once you open it up, you will see a very simple interface like this. It shows you your system resources and its usage. And the most important thing over here is the optimizations. Hone has a library of more than 100 optimizations to boost and improve your PC's performance, all of which is essentially one-click optimizations. You can enable IO operations, enable Hone gaming mode, disable Xbox, disable Firefox telemetry, optimize memory management, gaming optimizations, and a ton of other useful optimizations which are available at just one click. And if that is not enough, Hone also has a boost up section where you can clean install your graphic driver, clean your RAM, optimize your drives, clean your thumbnail cache, discord cache and it also helps you to fix and repair drive errors and system errors at just one place. And a bonus tip here is the game section where Hone detects all of the games installed on your PC and you can simply head over to any game that you play frequently, for example Fortnite. And all you have to do is simply click on the power mode over here and click on activate preset and with just one click you will be applying all of the best settings on your PC to ensure that you are running it on maximum throttle. Once again, Hone is a very useful tool for a variety of users and I would recommend you guys to go check it out for free from the link in the description below. Next step is kind of hidden in your system. Most of you guys don't know about it, but it's actually in the settings. For that, head over to settings and then enable storage sense. It's very important, so simply search for storage sense over here and click on turn on storage sense. It will take you to this page where you have to enable it, then head over to its settings and enable the first option which is keep windows running smoothly by automatically cleaning up temporary system files and app files. Make sure that you run it every day and delete your files in the recycle bin to never and my download folders to never over here as well. Select run storage sense now and it will clean up your temporary files every now and then. A full drive is a slow drive and storage sense 
automatically deletes temporary junk files that clogs up your SSD. Next step is disabling background applications, which is very useful. For that, simply search for edit group policy on your PC and open it up. This step will only be available for Windows Pro users. Here, here you have to select computer configuration, then administrative templates, then Windows components, and then app privacy. Here you'll find let Windows apps run in the background. Double click to open it up and make sure that this policy is turned on. But under the options, you'll find default for all apps. Select force deny and click on the apply button. This will deny all of the applications to run in the background, helping you to save your useful system resources for gaming. Once that is done, simply close it and close local group policy editor. Next step is deanimating your windows. And for that, simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. You can simply search for it. And by default, all of these options would be checked on for you. All you have to do is simply select adjust for best performance and then only select a few ones over here. First one would be save taskbar thumbnail previews. Second one would be show thumbnails instead of icons. Third one over here should be show window contents while dragging. And the last one that you need is smooth edges of screen fonts. Once you're done with all of these, you can simply click on the apply button and it will deanimate your windows as much as it can to save your useful system resources and your UI would be very much cleaner. The next step is setting up virtual memory for your PC and it is also very important. Head over to the advanced tab right on the top, then click on the change button. Here, it will be automatically managing your paging file size. Uncheck that and select your local disk C. Then select custom size. For the initial size, I would recommend you guys to go with 1024. It is essentially one GB. And for the maximum size, you wanna go 1.5 times your RAM. For that, you can simply open up calculator and then you have to multiply your RAM with 1024. I have 32 gigabytes. I have to multiply 32 with 1024. And there is my memory in megabytes. All you have to do is multiply it with 1.5. And the new value that you get over here here should be pasted right in here. Once you're done applying that, select on set, click on OK, and then click on OK over here. This will help you to set up the correct virtual memory for your PC. Next step is optimizing your display for gaming. And for that, you can simply search for display settings and head over to it. Then once you're over here, you have to scroll a bit down until you find your advanced display settings, select on that, and then you will find choose a refresh rate. Most of you guys might not be aware of it, but your monitor might be supporting higher refresh rates which is essentially smoother gaming experience by default it would be set to 60 or 30 so what you have to do is select the highest possible value that is given over here for me it is 239.96 once you are applying these settings you will be seeing massive improvements on your screen next step is defragging and optimizing your disk drives this includes defragging your hard disk drives and trimming your ssd which is essentially beneficial for both of your drives simply search for defrag and optimize drives over here and then you'll find your local disk c if it is a solid straight drive all you have to do is simply click on the optimize button and it will start trimming your ssd it is essentially helpful to optimize the performance of your ssd and if it is a hard disk drive all you have to do is select it and click on analyze let it run and then click on optimize and it will help you to optimize your hard disk drive both of them are absolutely safe and you guys can also click on change settings and run it on a schedule for daily also select increase task priority if three consecutive schedule runs are missed once that is done you can simply close it and close this option over here as well now if all of that didn't help you to optimize your PC or if your PC is super low end, I have one more step up my sleeve which is actually bonus for all of you guys. That is the Windows Optimization Pack. I will be leaving a link to this down in the description below. It is essentially designed to optimize the performance of your PC from the core. Here I have left six folders starting with the folder number zero which is Restore Point. Double click to open it up and you will find Create a Restore Point over here. Double click to open it up once again and once you're over here, select your local disk C, click on the Create button and name it Windows restore just so you can remember it i would highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential for the upcoming steps once that is done close it now the first folder here is cpu priority in which i have left amd as well as intel cpu priority both of these priorities are designed to optimize your d word value for your processor to improve its performance once again you can double click and apply it according to your system processor second one is ram optimization in which i have left a ton of registries over here i currently use 32 gb ram so i need to apply the 32 gb ram registry could be different for you so you can apply it and check the performance and once again if that doesn't give you better performance you can always reset it back to default using this registry over here the third folder is disable unwanted services in which i have left all of these services which are absolutely useless but they're still running in the background consuming your processor if you guys use any bluetooth or printer services apart from that i would recommend you guys to disable every single one of these by double clicking on this registry and once again if you want to turn them back on use the revert registries folder to turn them back again the 
fourth folder is batch tweaks in which I have left buffer bloat fix, disable memory compression, disable process mitigation, latency tweaks and system partition diagnostics. You can right click edit all of them in notepad to see exactly what are the changes that it is going to perform on your PC. I would highly recommend you guys to right click and run all of them as administrator. This will help you to free up your network buffer. This one will help you to free up your RAM. This one will help you to improve the performance of your processor. This one will help you to get rid of unwanted input latency. And this one will help you to fix any corrupted partitions in Windows which might be causing stutters and performance issues in the games. Last folder here is the actual very useful folder which is programs in which I have left clean temporary files. You're gonna have to right click and then run it as administrator. Once you're over here, you have to essentially press enter and this will delete all temporary files on your PC. If you do not have storage sense enabled, you can simply run this one and I would recommend you guys to run it every now and then press enter to close it next is msi mode utility 3.0 we use it to optimize the performance of our gpu right click on that and run it as administrator now once it opens up all you have to do is find your graphics card in this list click on the msi button next to it and for the interrupt priority select high this will help you to handle your interrupts on your gpu on a higher priority improvising improving its performance the last one is pro pc optimizer v1.2 you want to have to right click and then run it as administrator now now, if your antivirus flags it as a threat, you have to simply click on open quarantine and here you have to select it and then select restore. Then click on exclude this from future detections and select restore. This is nothing but a false positive and I will show you guys up ahead. Simply right click on that and run it as administrator. Once it opens up, it will show you that it is a one click optimizer designed to optimize all of the settings on your PC in just one click. These settings include optimizing your network connection, your hardware, your USB ports, and all of that in just one click. Simply press enter and enter once again and this will create a restore point for you guys in the background. Once the restore point has been successfully created, press enter and this will apply all of the settings on your PC in just one click and with all that said, you can simply close it, restart your PC once and check the performance in the game. So in the conclusion, after applying all of these steps and restarting your PC, you will notice a massive difference in how smooth your games feel. If this helped you out to get those extra frames, drop a like and subscribe for more tech deep dives. We are really close to 250,000 subscribers and I really appreciate your support. I am Bear Fox and I will be seeing you all in the next video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching and peace out.